understanding and compassion. You suffer, you will suffer much less. The Buddha said, when someone is struck with an arrow, that person suffers. But if a second arrow come and struck you, strike you exactly on the same spot, you will suffer not twice, but maybe ten or one hundred times more. When you suffer, and if you have a lot of uh, uh, misunderstanding and ignorance and anger in you, your suffering will be multiplied by 100 times. But if you are capable of bringing in the element of understanding and compassion, the suffering will be reduced to 1% or maybe less. And that is why uh, suffering, the degree of suffering depends very much on our capacity of understanding and uh, being compassionate. It's a, it's a wonder. It's a miracle. Suffering is. Even physical suffering, physical pain, physical, physical pain or mental uh, illness, if you can bring into you more of that element of understanding and compassion, you suffer much less already. And that allows joy to be born in you so that you can uh, uh, feel that you uh, you can be alive, you can be happy, and you can uh, help uh, a lot of people around you. If you are able to suffer less, if you are able to smile, and to get in touch with the wonders of life that are available around you, you'll be able to help one person or two persons to be lucky, and together you can form a Sangha, a community that can begin to help with uh, uh, the environment around you. And uh, the peace in you uh, will help you to, to, to generate the peace in the world. Without any peace within, you will not be able to serve uh, uh, the world, to bring peace to the world. That is why the practice in order to take care of our own suffering, to, uh, to transform our suffering, is, uh, is at the base of all, all peace uh, activities. And it's why many of us uh, have heard that peace always begins with myself.